Stock Pulse Newsroom. We are talking to Vino Silver Mines today. Silver and gold mines, that is. That's ASM on the big board, Toronto Stock Exchange and New York Stock Exchange. And I've got David Wolf and the chief executive here. So, David, I appreciate you taking the time here. It's been quite a while since we've caught up here. Um, well, how do I put it? Absolutely horrible market. Um, working your tail off. You have uh, aspirations of being a, a mid-tier silver producer. Run into a headman right now, but the, the work goes on here. Uh, La Preciosa Silver Project. Haven't talked about that with you. That's got to be front and center. Give us the latest activities of what's going on with the VM. Sure. Well, we're generating positive cash flow. So I know the share price doesn't reflect that, but uh, uh, metal prices are still pretty good for us. Uh, we got good margins. We reopened the mine in August. We've announced... Uh, Two quarters now, positive cash flow. We're generating two and a half million per quarter. Uh, as you know, expecting 10 million this year with a market cap of 40 to 50 million US. So it's a screaming buy. <laughs> so um, shameless plug there. Sorry. But, uh, anyways, uh, we've got 300 million ounces of silver equivalent through 60 million metric tons. Uh, that was came with the acquisition of La Preciosa from Coor Mining, and uh, we closed that in March. Now we're doing community engagement. We're expecting to break ground next year. Um, we've got all the ingredients for expansion at our mine. We've got a 20-kilometer dedicated power line capable of five megawatts, and we're only utilizing three. Uh, we're building a brand new state-of-the-art dry stack tailing storage facility oversized for our current milling operation, which is at 2,500 tons per day. Um, this is all in anticipation of future expansion. And we've got plenty of water. We're gonna be recycling it from the dry stack and we've got a dam and wells. So we've got a, all the ingredients in place. We've got the support of the local communities, the mayors, the governors, they all want job creation. And we're in, a, in an area that we're the main uh, employer. It's in the, uh, in the heart of Mexico, in the state of Durango, in a safe jurisdiction. It's in rolling farmland surrounded by communities. So you're not in some remote area where it could be dangerous. So we've never had any problems. We've got a long-term contract with Samsung. We sell all our concentrate to, or probably 90% of our concentrate to them, goes into electronics. So with the green movement coming um, and mandating uh, the governments in 2050 to be uh, no more carbon emissions, uh, going to need metals. And we've got 300 million ounces of silver equivalent. Yeah, um, I don't uh, I can't really pick a, any any holes in your story. You just uh, mentioned there, David, except I guess uh, talk to investors about this downturn in silver and about that affecting the share price. Um Imagine when silver goes the other way, but you seem to be in a comfy place. It doesn't seem to be bothering you at all. Not at all. It's an opportunity for investors. Man, I mean, the stock markets uh, are either overbought or oversold. They're never at what the true value is. So everything's oversold right now in the whole sector. People are, uh, you know, uh, risk adverse. And so the equities are are risky. And so, um, but the, the metal prices are still not bad. We're making money. So, hey, I mean, what's wrong with that? Uh, generating free cash flow at a junior with, a, you know, with the junior the trades on the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, we trade half a million shares a day. There's liquidity. People can get in and out. Uh, so it's a great opportunity. Um, and I tell everyone, every portfolio should have a silver lining and let the vino be that lining. I think I think you're on the right track. So I guess I guess I give a, um, you're a, obviously in a, in the hunt here to be a be a, a mid tier producer. Everything you just said uh, supports what you just uh, what you just mentioned here. So once you uh, once you give investors and uh, and shareholders a little look into what David Wolf and thinks about thinks about the current silver market here. You just mentioned obviously demand for EV and all that, but uh, I, I got to believe you're pretty bullish on silver. Absolutely. If uh, we're getting away from carbon emissions and everything's going green, solar, electrical, you know, you've got all your gadgets and everything, demand is only going to grow. And getting metals out of the ground is hard enough as it is. Uh, you know, most governments uh, um, are very difficult to get permits for. And so new new discoveries in the past would be eight to 10 years uh, from initial discovery to building the mine. Now it's 20 years. So how is it gonna keep up? So the prices have to go, they have nowhere to go. They have to go, 
in the short term, you'll have volatility. But in the long term, look at the trend. Look where it was 20 years ago. Silver was below four bucks. Gold was below 300. What does that tell you? The almighty purchasing power of the U.S. dollar is declining. That's why metal prices are going up. And I just want to say we have a five-year plan to produce between eight and 10 million ounces. This is organic and going to be financed primarily from our current operation. So don't expect to see much dilution from us. Um, you know, so we're, we've got a, a, the acquisition in La Preciosa. We're preparing the mine plan. So that's going to add a lot of uh, tonnage to our mill. And uh, within a couple of years, we'll consider a major expansion. We're at 2,500 tons per day. Maybe we go to five or 6,000 tons per day. So the, these are uh, the ideas that we're uh, kicking around the boardroom and with our technical team as to how to get to eight to 10 million ounces. And we think it's very feasible. Um, could we go bigger than that? Possibly. But we'd probably look to do some kind of um, uh, independent optimization study uh, in the next few years. But right now we've got three drills turning. We're drilling up as much um, um, of the areas that are uncertain to us right now and uh, have uh, blue sky potential um, because um, we don't want to do an optimization study and then find out the recommendation is you need to drill more. We want to make sure we got everything drilled off and then we can uh, come with a serious plan to, to get much larger. They're on sale, folks. Appreciate that update, David. Uh, certainly a lot to look forward to. We'll check back in when you have some more news and look forward to seeing you here in the Silver Symposium coming up here in the late August. Uh, hopefully you make it there. So uh, David Wolfen, Chief Executive Officer of Eno Silver and Gold Mines, ASM, Big Board, Toronto, and New York Stock Exchange. Thanks for the update, David. Thank you.